Hey guys, it's uh, Carbot here, and uh, I wanted to guys show you guys a replay um, that I just had. If the volume's up uh, enough, but um, it's kind of so. This is me. It's a PVP. Um, we're both in diamond. Um, this is me. This is the bad guy. And uh, I screw up pretty bad at the beginning of this uh, match here. Okay, so I asked. So I was gonna rush with a double gateway. Um, and to, to do some damage basically, but look how it took a very long time to like build my cybernetics So oh, and it even gets canceled there um, So I I'm not only delayed, but you'll see me get destroyed uh, It's pretty bad. So I'm chasing with the probe here um, just because I was a little bit weary about um, proxy gate or proxy uh, Pylon or yeah proxy gate like cannon rush or something like that and I go ahead and expand, and then he expands just now. So mine's a little bit ahead of his. But he does have his adepts out, and I have... I'm building two adepts. That's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, so clearly very behind, other than a little bit ahead of expanding, but my gateways were really behind. Um, and he... Not a bad engagement. I don't think I took any damage there. He did with this guy right here. But... Uh, You'll see me get on the back foot very easy. And as we're waiting, um, guys, uh, I do plan to do a lot more gaming. Kill the probe there. Gaming uh, videos. Just uh, more consistent, I should say, um, as well. Anyway, he comes in. I, again, big fail here. Do photon overcharge. It does nothing. Uh, and the other one was canceled. There she is. Or there's the uh, adept. And cancels it again. I don't know why. I could have sent the... Uh, uh, the psionic transfers out to make sure to wonder where the heck she was and I kind of fail this here as well like I could have totally uh, kill her anyway okay um, but yeah so I go over here to try to do some damage or whatever and again a big fail like I shouldn't have yeah resources lost uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's almost doubled. I, he lost 350, I lost 650. Uh, income, let's check income. I do have more income than him. Oh no, we're about the same now. Alright, so Blink is on the way. I'm about to proxy a uh, pylon. Uh, my next plan, after all uh, these th three, I think I, I failed three times already, um, is to uh, build a pylon and, and Blink Stalker. And send some adepts in to the back of the mineral lines um, to distract him to go back and uh, defend. I was thinking of over here because I figured his mothership core was at his main, which it was. So that's kind of like what I was planning to do. So I warp in two adepts. He comes out with blink and more stalkers, so I don't even stand a chance. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. Get my adepts in there first to absorb some hits. Try to do damage to the. The stalkers that already lost their shields. And once again, I am behind. I do have more income slightly, but I have, let's see, lost two, almost three, three times the amount that he's lost. So nine units, 1,100 minerals, to 21 units, 2,800. This actually gets worse. So that's the fourth fail I've, I, I have in this, uh, in this matchup. And it's a PvP, so it's not racial biased. So he comes up here. I know he's coming, so I get to, uh, I build two more pylons so I can photon overcharge. But he does have an observer, and so he can snipe me from the low ground as well. He goes blinks in. I did get uh, a void ray, and then I get the photon overcharge a couple of these. So that was a semi bad engagement on his part. He should have killed my void ray, um, and then just got out of there. But um, I don't know, I was able to, to deal some damage to him. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit more even um, when it comes to army sizes. I actually probably could have killed him, but I probably would have lost a lot. But I'd rather f take him at uh, these two pylons here so I can photon overcharge. Second void race out. So he comes up again. He blinks out as soon as the photon overcharge goes off. Smart for him. And now he has a lot more um, stalkers, and he has a warp prism to continue to... Uh, support his attack so it gets worse I tell you so I did get the uh, observer because I got an oracle just to uh, get that observer and maybe uh, lay some mines down I didn't want that observer to, to be around anymore 
Um, so here comes two adepts to distract me. Exactly what, exactly what I was going to do to him, he does to me. And I'm like, oh crap. So I run some of the stalkers over there, blink, but then I attack back over here to support these pylons with photon overcharge. He backs out, which I think was kind of a mistake. And I prevent most of those adepts from doing hardly any damage. They do, they do do damage though. It gets worse though. So it's 1,900 minerals to 3,300. I have caught up a bit, but as you see, this is where it gets worse. I've already used my energy on the Oracle. I'm not building another Oracle. That was my form of detection. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So I don't know what to do. I bring my stalkers over here. Um, where's my other Oracle? Am I getting one? No, I'm not even getting one right now. It's either I, there you go. He's, he's up there now, but yeah, so, and like Oracle just doesn't have, it's not good against DTs once they're split up because you do it in an area and it sticks to that unit and that's it. And he has one DT over here and another DT over there. So I got really confused and really frustrated at this point, as you can imagine. I was playing really badly. I, I did like a lot of screw ups as well. And now I have to wait out this other DT until this Oracle comes out. A third, third DT? That is a third DT. Luckily, he's attacking my stalkers and not my uh, my probes. He's taking out the the pylons, so I can't photon overcharge as much. He brings one T ba DT back though, so I only had to deal with one, which is good actually. That actually, I think literally that DT going back saved me. And I think the reason why is because you notice I don't. I only have two void rays here. I'm gonna back it up a bit. So that was like several fails. I think five fails in a row basically, that I screwed up. And as this was happening, I brought my three Void Rays and did what I could and uh, just charged on the, the Nexus to destroy it. And as a result, actually, he brings his entire army back. So that was his fail. And I was like, if I can get this Nexus, maybe, just maybe, I can, I can get back in this game, which I did. So I had a glimmer of hope. And luckily, he starts failing now. He he brought his entire army back. He does get Archons, though, which is, is smart. Um, but I have plenty of pylons in the front here. And this, this is his big fail. Not only did he bring his guys back, but he he does, he, yeah. There's I have plenty of pylons here, and although my Mothership core is way out of position. Now let's put that at normal speed again. So he engages my defense. He's surrounded by pylons. And that's when I can start to photon overcharge. Again, I was a bit of a fail on my part as well because I uh, had my mothership way out of position and I would have done a lot better too um, if, uh, if uh, it wasn't position because I would have killed a lot more stalkers. I just leave these here. I was playing so badly this game. I didn't know what the heck to do. It's just one of those games, you know? Just one of those games. So these Void Rays coming back, just barely missed by those Stalkers. A little, a little worried. Poke in, okay. And now he, I, I start to set up a perimeter just so I can expand again because I am running out of resources. I do have a lot of minerals though, um, but I am running out of resources and I want to make sure I can expand. So I try to snipe another Nexus and uh, he does Photon Overcharge. To destroy my void rays, but I get the nexus, and I lose one void ray. I think two actually. Unfortunately, that was kind of bad on my part, but I do get the nexus, and that's the important thing. So now he's only on one nexus, with uh, long uh, long distance mining, and I'm starting to set up a perimeter with these oracles. I love stasis ward. Stasis ward is awesome. It, if you can imagine it like spreading creep, it's it's very similar to that. So I caught these adepts out. I was like, oh good. Okay. Now I can fight. Nice. Another one. Now I can fight his army separately, which is great. This is good. This is again, once again, saved me. I do have quite a bit of minerals in the bank, and this is because I was doing I don't know. I was again, I was playing a very bad game, had a lot of fails, but I just wanted to show this game to see it's not over till it's over, guys. And so now I was able to fight these guys uh, one on one or separately their army which I should have brought these guys up here I don't know why I didn't now I start to um, 
and again uh, was able to defend. And I think I I attacked with these void rays, but they didn't do much. I actually lost one. I had three before, so I keep trying to harass with void rays. Not not a bad harassing option because they can do so much damage to buildings. So trying to set up the perimeter, I, I throw throw down some pylons, more some more stasis wards, and more harassing. Kill some probes if I can. Um, kill the pylons. Try to get this uh, artosis pylon, which I do, and then kill one more pylon and get out of there. So again, being annoying with these uh, these void rays. I wish it showed building kills. Does that count? I don't think it shows building kills. That would be that would be really nice if it did. But yeah, so I did some uh, harass, and again, continue to do my creep spread, my stasis ward spread, um, so I can continue to set up a perimeter. One, it alerts me um, when they're coming. Two, it's it freezes some of their army. And three, even if they have detection, it's still it's alerting me that they're approaching, so I have time to react, and it slows them down because they have to shoot and kill it. Which, once again, he got trapped by the stasis ward here. Another trap from the stasis ward. So I can see this. I don't see them anymore, but I saw that four guys got trapped. So I see those adepts going back, and so I just want to stop them from... And they're all attacking one probe, so it's not as devastating as it could have been. I should have engaged this army uh, as this was, and here I come to do it. But it's a little bit late, and I do do another fail here. I clump these void rays like crazy, and you can see the, the Archon damage that happens here. It hurts so bad, watch. So again, another fail, really bad game, like on my part and kind of on this guy's part, but I had so many fails. But to make up for how badly I've been playing, I did harass quite, quite a bit to get myself back in here. He's, you can see now he's lost way more resources than me, about 50% more, or almost 50% more. And now, to counter his Archons, I get Carriers. They won't clump as easy, and they'll do full damage to carrier, or to Archons, so that's kind of what I've been doing. And once again, I want to expand, so I start setting up a perimeter with my Oracles. Um, and I'm sending my Carriers to harass with the Mothership, just to be sure if I need them to recall back home. So I'm being defensive, but also trying to harass and deal... Um, decent decent amount of damage when I do. He does send his observer here. He's starting to learn that I'm using a lot of stasis wards to to save myself, basically. All right, so here goes the harass. I kill that mothership. I don't know why it came over there, but and I do I do decent damage here as well, and I continue that harass to kill off his probes because what I'm trying to do now is just to prevent him from getting ahead again and trying to stop him from. I almost lose his carrier. Stop him from, yeah, uh, getting ahead and becoming stronger and more solid than me. And once again, this slows him down and attacking me. So doing everything I can to just slow him down as much as possible so I can catch up with as little as possible as well. So here he goes. He starts to, to come out, and I'm attacking the, uh, the Dark Shrine so he can no longer have Archons or DTs. And once again, it's alerting me. Letting me know he's trying to attack now, so I put down two more stasis wards. <laughs> Again, they're kind of like creep. It's a little bit like creep. If you if you treat it like that, they can become so handy. They're so awesome. And so here we go. We start the engagement. He was just attacking these uh, things with a couple of stalkers. I recall back with my mothership as I destroy his uh, nexus. I did not bring these two carriers back because I thought may as well deal some damage as he's attacking me because I don't I don't think his army is big enough to win the game right here right right here and now because of my carriers basically so and his army composition was good the fact but it was because I had four carriers these adepts didn't come in much use like they would have absorbed a lot of the uh, stalker attacks and same with the the archons would have too but the carriers had too much damage. And you'll see here. I guess I'm spoiling it, sorry. Spoilers. But yeah, so he goes and he starts poking in again. Am I, uh... Oh yeah, I'm on faster, okay. I'm getting the Archons out of the picture. He's trying to blink forward to get my carriers, which is good. And I start to micro that carrier back. But once again, all of the stalkers died because of the Void Rays. And what are left are a couple of Archons, which don't... They just don't have the, the firepower to deal with the carriers. And I love how 
as he's running around, he runs into another mine, or stasis ward rather, and uh, locks him down. But yeah, so guys, I want to show you that replay just because I was so frustrated at the beginning. I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm screwing up so bad, and I continued to screw up. It was a really bad game, but even, even with all those screw ups you can capitalize on their screw-ups and, and, and make a comeback. That, that's, that's the point. It's not to be like, look how bad I am and look how bad, look, look at his screw-ups kind of thing. Um, the point is that, you know, never give up, never surrender, and uh, you never know. You never know because it's, it's another human being on the other end and they are just as likely to screw up as, as you. Assumably, anyway. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I like that game because of that. I was really relieved that I was somehow able to uh, come back, even though he was like three times more effective than I was. I had no, like hardly any mining at one point because of the DTs, and he he was on three bases. But because of you know what I was able to do, I got lucky and uh, it turned out for the better. So hope you guys enjoyed that uh, that match and. Uh, Look for more content for this channel, the our Carbot Carb Carbot Combat channel. Um, I'm looking to do more consistent stuff and uh, just it's fun stuff. It might not always even be games, to be honest. It might just be I don't know, whatever. This is just a secondary channel for whatever. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll uh, see you see you later. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New New Year's. Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys later.